The traditional gasoline-powered engines that have dominated the automotive industry for over a year have many weaknesses, including high emissions, low energy efficiency, and reliance on finite resources. In recent years, there has been a growing demand for cleaner, more efficient alternatives, and electric vehicles have emerged as a promising solution. However, early electric motors had their own set of limitations, such as low power density and limited range. In response, Elon Musk and his team at Tesla developed a new type of motor that addresses these issues and offers a more efficient and reliable solution for electric vehicles. What is the name of the engine and how does it operate? Furthermore, what could possibly be Elon Musk's reason for choosing this motor model for Tesla vehicles? In this episode of Tesla Car World, we'll discover the latest updates. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive future video updates. Now let's dive in on today's topic. Now the Model 3 and Y powertrain is a great example of this broader meaning of efficiency. So since we launched it back in 2017, we've continuously improved that powertrain and the factory that builds it. So the drive unit, the engine of the car, is 20% lighter for the same power. We use 25% less heavy rare earths than when we started. And the powertrain, the powertrain factory, which is behind me today, is 75% smaller and 65% cheaper than the one that we originally built. At its investor day, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk revealed that it would develop a permanent magnet electric vehicle engine with no rare earth elements. Their difficulty in obtaining supplies and the fact that China accounts for the vast majority of global production, rare earth elements are a source of friction in the supply chains for EVs. So why develop permanent magnet motors? This is significant due to some factors, not the least of which is the Biden administration's present promotion of domestically made materials for electric car componentry. There are numerous false beliefs about what a rare earth element is and how many of them are utilized by electric vehicles. In actuality, rare earth elements are frequently absent from lithium ion batteries. The rare earth elements in an EV are used in electric car motors rather than batteries. The most used is neodymium, which is used in powerful magnets for speakers, hard drives, and electric motors. Dysprosium, terbium, and praseodymium are commonly used as additives in neodymium magnets. Further rare earth elements are not used in every type of electric car motor. Tesla uses them in DC permanent magnet motors, but not in its AC induction motors. Originally, Tesla used AC induction motors in its vehicles, which did not need rare earth elements. In fact, this is where the company got its namesake. Nikola Tesla was the inventor of the AC induction motor, but then when when the Model 3 came out, the company introduced a new permanent magnet motor and eventually started using these motors in its other vehicles as well. Tesla stated today that between 2017 and 2022, it managed to reduce rare earth usage in these new Model 3 drive units by 25% as it increased the efficiency of the drivetrain. But now, it looks like Tesla is trying to get the best of both worlds, a permanent magnet motor, but without rare earth elements. Tesla was vague when asked about the precise materials it employs, maybe because it sees this information as a trade secret that it doesn't want to divulge. However, the first number most certainly represents neodymium and terbium and dysprosium could be the other two. Permanent magnets made of neodymium have long been the standard for such applications, but during the past 10 years, research has focused on other possible materials that might take its place. Tesla has not yet made clear which one it intends to employ, but it appears to be close to making a choice or, at the very least, believes that a better option will be found soon. But what is the working principle of Tesla's permanent magnet motors? Permanent magnet synchronous motors are very similar in structure to AC asynchronous motors. The main components are also the stator and rotor. The stator core is generally made of laminated silicon steel sheets and has good magnetic permeability. There are evenly distributed slots on the inner circle of the stator core. This slot is used to place the stator windings. The windings are composed of dense copper wire coils, 
which can generate a magnetic field when the coils are energized. The rotor of an asynchronous motor is always chasing the rotation of the stator's magnetic field, so there will be a difference between the speed of the rotor and the speed of the magnetic field. The structure of the stator is the same as that of AC asynchronous motors, but the rotor is composed of permanent magnets. Moving on to our last bit of news, applying Tesla permanent magnet motors to the Model 3. Tesla made a significant change to its electric motor strategy with the introduction of the Model 3, switching from an AC induction motor to a permanent magnet motor. Tesla's principal motor designer, Konstantinos Lascaris, explains the logic behind the move. We recently reported on Lascaris because he went to school at the National Technical University of Athens in Greece like several other top motor designers at Tesla. The automaker recently confirmed that they are building an electric motor R&D group in Greece to tap into strong local electrical engineering talent. At the Coil Winding Insulation and Electrical Manufacturing Exhibition in Chicago, Lascaris made a rare comment about Tesla's decision to use a permanent magnet motor in the Model 3 instead of an AC induction motor, like in Model S's and Model X's. He said, It's well known that permanent magnet machines have the benefit of pre-excitation from the magnets, and therefore you have some efficiency benefit for that. Induction machines have pre perfect flux regulation, and therefore you can optimize your efficiency. Both make sense for variable speed drive single gear transmission as the drive units of the cars. So, as you know, our Model 3 has a permanent magnet machine now. This is because for the specification of the performance and efficiency, the permanent magnet machine better solved our cost minimization function, and it was optimal for the range and performance target. Quantitatively, the difference is what drives the future of the machine, and it's a trade-off between motor cost, range, and battery cost that is determining which technology will be used in the future. It sounds like the decision was driven by efficiency and costs. Tesla can say mission accomplished for efficiency since the Model 3 is one of the most efficient vehicles on the market, according to the EPA. How do you feel about permanent magnet motors? Do you think it'll be the motor to get for future electric cars? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As we wrap up today's episode, we'd like to express our heartfelt gratitude for tuning in to our channel. Your unwavering support means the world to us. If you found today's video engaging, we kindly request that you hit the thumbs up button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and activate that notification bell to stay abreast of the latest happenings in the EV realm. We look forward to welcoming you back for our next episode. For now, stay safe and take care.